Shalom, this is Ephraim Buckwold, post Yom Kippur, a little uh, voiceless but enthusiastic for the next holiday, the festival of Sukkot, Zaman Simchatenu. It is a time of our rejoicing, which is so great. A Sukkot is a very special holiday in that in ancient times when there was a sacrificial rite in the temple, they brought 70 bulls over a period of seven days. So it started out with 13 on the first day, 12 on the second day, etc., etc., until the last day when there were seven bulls, which totals up to 70. The rabbis wonder, what is 70? Well, we know that according to the biblical calculation, there were 70 nations in ancient times. And the rabbis suggest that the bulls that were brought on Sukkot holiday were for the sake of the 70 nations, which is so interesting. Because not until the eighth day, which is Shemini Atzeret, was a sacrifice really brought for the Jews themselves. In other words, for the first seven days, the Sukkot holiday is dedicated to the benefit of the nations of the world, that God should shower them with blessing that God should give them water for this seasonal agriculture and bless them as well. Now, that same theme is also seen in the structure of the sukkah itself. That the sukkah is made out of four walls, a house. It has to be sturdy, has to be able to withstand the wind, even if there are only two and a half walls, which is the minimum. But the roof is made out of schach. It's made out of different pieces of wood that allows the sun to come in and allows the shade to be in the sukkah. So even though the walls protect us, the roof is open, meaning that even though we're taking care of ourselves, we're looking outside to the stars, to the sun, to the light, to the world, to the nations of the world. And even if you take the four species of Sukkot, the lulav, the etrog, the myrtle, and the willow, when we shake them, we shake them forward, to the side, back, to the left, up, and down. Again, to all the nations of the world. What we want to bring to the nations of the world is the message of peace, the message of Sukkot, the message of security. Boy, do we need that now with our friends at the United Nations, with our friends at Iran. We need to pray for the benefit of the nations of the world, that we can all live in peace, and security. May this festival of joy be a festival for all the nations of the world. And may we soon see peace prevail throughout the entire world. Chag Sameach.